Yo, Wagwan, my people, I go by the name Tutu. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on another Mpasho um, installment. With me here is uh, Nikuta JMC, because a lot of, I know you go by the name Real, uh, Real Boogie. Uh, do you prefer being referred to as Real Boogie, or do you prefer your actual government names? No, 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 no. Any, any name. Okay. Boogie, Branka Boogie. Yeah, most of the time, um, on set of Nikifanya Cinema, I use brand Kabugi. Kwa streets and yeah, real boogies, yeah. I'm cool with that. Real boogie, brand Kabugi, any. Yeah. So, off-rip, let me tell you the first thing I noticed and I'm sure most people feel this way. When, whenever they get to interact with you is is how deep your voice is, man. Manzi... <laughs> How often does that happen to you? How often do you get those remarks? Every 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 time I meet someone new. Every time I meet someone new. Kwa uba. So uba kin kole kwa pe. Kama pa pa pa. Nikifika na nyuliza. Brian. Kabugi. Niwewe. So like yeah. Kila msiju what wana expect me kwa na soprano. Wama niju sina ndevo. Listen, yo, yo comment ya ndevu mtu wangu na niona pia mi vile naka so <laughs> but yeah so allow me to take you back kidogo to your upbringing yeah? um, what would you say is your most memorable uh, what, rather what memory do you remember the most uh, in regards to your childhood my most memorable moments in regards to my childhood um uh, I think the first time, <laughs> yeah, the first time I I was on screen, yeah. Could you talk about that a bit more? Yeah, basically the first time that I saw myself on TV, uh, knowing that I got myself there was amazing because it was too roll extra. At a school last more than two seconds on screen, but it felt so fulfilling that I I love acting around to act and I mean it was in Machachari, I was in the crowd scene. It was a church scene I think. Na mi nilikuwa tu wale watu wa kuja za church. Camera ile pan to towards me. Na you can make it on air, bro. So those 2 seconds were so beautiful to me because that's that's where I realized that this is what I want to do. This is my dream and I can do anything and put myself anywhere I want to. And the and the and the character you're talking about is uh Kenny, Kenny. from Okay. Uh yeah, that was my first character on screen. I was skinny from Machachari. Because um, I joined Machachari a few years after Walianza Ku Air. I, I joined, I think, around 2011, 2012. Then around 2013, 14 is when now my character started really building up. And yeah. yeah. So, so could you credit uh, Kenny for most of the success you've seen as an actor? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, not just success, but experience. I mean, first, um, Kenny being my first character and being on Machachari, which was at that time was the biggest show on, <laughs> on TV. It was really big. And as a kid, you can imagine me being a kid who wants to be an actor. Then ume unapatana na kina govia, kina baha. You're working with these guys. So Kenny, first of all, Kenny was a major boost to my career i always thank citizen i always thank naomi kamau for the opportunity and the platform and also just the experience it gave me because right now i'm doing salem and i have around nine years of experience on set so me kuraoka mapema ijaini store because nikio i used to wake up at 4 a.m to go to set do all that stuff and just on ground experience and just because as an actor you akuna actor shaifika point ameweza you keep on learning you keep on growing so it's i definitely credit kenny and the fact that i was a kid man and i did that oh my god it's 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 a very 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 important aspect of my it set the foundation for everything basically it sounds like uh uh that is a big one for you you being a kid and being able to get to those heights uh, and um on that line in that line you grew up in a single parent household your mom raised you um just how much of um the person you are right now can be accredited to her everything everything my mom raised me she supported me uh, my mom is a teacher so you know 
mode wako ni mother wako ni mode alafu namwambia mimi nataka kuwa actor <laughs> so even the extended family most of them were like telling her you know why are you allowing kabugi to do this then there was a lot of you know a lot of just a lot of talk ah machichari kids he will be spoiled he will be a style not focus he supported she supported me all through um and also my mom is my everything she's 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 a goddess she's my queen she's my everything i the person i am today is 100% because of my mother yeah Yeah, you've used some uh, strong adjectives to describe your mom. But that's dope man, that's dope. I mean, mothers deserve the world. Yeah. Uh you talked about uh, Salim. You have a character there called what rather you play a character called uh, Tito. So just how much of Tito is a reflection of who you actually are as a person? Um you know that's that's a question I get a lot where people ask me um is Boogie Tito and is, is Tito Boogie or oh, the different characters I've played throughout my life um basically there are some things uh that I can say Tito was borrowed from Boogie but um I can't say I can't say Tito is Boogie because Tito and Boogie are two different people Tito is a character Tito is a 17 year old who's dealing with a lot of stuff to you know um uh, toxic relationships with his parents uh you know friendships you know um death you know murder crime all that stuff Boogie is totally different but the thing about acting is in order for you to bring out yeah. that character to the best possible way you must put yourself in the shoes of that person and that means totally disregard any judgment towards your character kama character yangu ana ana uwa mtu my first duty is to believe my character had a reason and a purpose and he he or she he is justified to do that so most of the time you find you you're so gelled into the character even when you're off set off script when you're with Randy and sometimes he tells me something I'll say something and that's Tito <laughs> he'll do something and I'll react as Tito so that's but it's finding the balance and yeah ni maisha yetu ya kuwa actors yeah um other cuz uh, what you said about how you have to a part of you has to actually be the character for you to bring the best out of them so what happens when you need to break character is there like a process you different people everybody has every actor has their way Uh, basically depending on the time the finances the nini and what you have access to the people who travel the people who just go off social media everything and just uh, recharge and get themselves back there are people who actually now socialize more because maybe during their character uh, maybe if i was an extrovert and my character is an introvert and when i was playing that character i blocked a lot of people So when I'm off that character I'll want to go back to being Kabuki the extrovert so I'll go out more party more connect with family and friends so it's basically you definitely need time to break off a character and depending also on the intensity of the roles I've done roles where they're so intense and it was a feature film and it was a couple of days but I had to get off social media or get off or get a break from a lot of stuff for for quite a while because everything is is mental yeah yeah it's very mental mm. and um do you think the things boogie can borrow from tito yeah yeah i mean tito is a reflection of a lot of young men you know and there are definitely some things when i when i read the script and i'm i'm going to perform as tito and i'm like wow this is a very powerful scene and I must give it my all because in order for me to perform this since they were I want them all the way they write or the way the story or to do you know to to just to just do justice to the story is I have to believe whatever so there are basically some aspects of Tito that I learn from every day why does Tito do, do this you know why 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 is he like this then I get to realize I've met Titos in my life I've been a Tito in my life maybe I've judged a Tito before and I didn't know then now I'm playing the role and I'm like oh so this is actually so that's why I'm telling you it's very mental and being an actor you just have to be very understanding 
you know you have to be very so there, there are many things and for me tito is a reflection of a lot of things young men deal with in our society anxiety toxic relation once once the last time ulipo hug na babako the last time you you told your dad i love you the last time you had a solid connection many of us many many men in their 20s 30s 40s to me raise your name notion ya kuwa hardcore me this mzaini anakupenda unajua anakupenda yes but hata wewe you know showing love is is a source of weakness and and that's that is part of the reason why we have such a huge problem today and that's why we need to find a balance between you know um all this stuff that's going around society today feminism toxic masculinity you know that's why um men are so insensitive today you know that's why you know i usually say you you blame men for you blame a man for being the way he is and you've raised this man to know the only value he has is money and he can't show emotion so mwana ume akiwa mbigi ajali kusudem he, he doesn't know how to be in a relationship ajali kusudem and uh, he's hardcore he's not open up to feelings akokwa breaking point yake he starts at 40 he commits suicide he hurts other people then you guys are like no 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 men are dogs men are this and this but all our life we grew up knowing i can't show emotions i'm a man i need to be hard you know i grew up knowing the only value i have to society is monetary so i'll never pay attention to the only value i have to you as a woman mimi kukupedo you submit you get those are some of the things that were programmed to us the same thing was you say mama dem ati madem wanapenda do ati ya mbona madem wanapenda do and everything and for so long we made women like the only value they had they couldn't work they were wabaki kwa nyumba tuwapedo where she can do nini nini then 10 years from now you blame that chick for wanting a man who will give her money and pamper her but that's the system we were raised around yeah so basically and that's salem we salem and the show and the characters around the show and Tito in particular talking about these things the tough conversations that we need to have from our parenting the, the relationships between sons and their fathers and yeah basically a lot of stuff yeah. you said a lot huh? <laughs> yeah um but i'm sure there's a lot of people who agree with what you've said myself included uh speaking of bringing the best out of your your character you were recently nominated for the uh kalasha kalasha sorry my fault kalasha so take us through your doubt you were being nominated for that award where were you mentally how were you feeling what was your first reaction i was on set i was on a break with my castmate called kenny trisky he plays kenny and he was like yo the kalashas they're announcing the nominees First of all just to tell you how important kalashas are for me when I was a kid cuz me by 10 I wanted to be an actor and I wanted to be the best actor and I wanted to make a living out of acting I knew this is what I'll make a living out of and I used to say I'll be the best actor in Kenya I'll be the best and at that time I used to look up to the kalashas cuz they were like it's, it's the most prestigious award for actors in our in, in our region you know so I was like I want a kalasha. Then I was, when I was in Machachari, Machachari had a kalasha. Kina Baha, Baha was nominated for a kalasha. So I was like he's my age. I'm looking up to this guy. One day I want to have a kalasha. And I used to dream about the kalashas, the this years, the Oscars and I was like kalasha is the first step and from there is it's you know we're going we're going we're going bigger so every year and every project I did I usually said I'll give it my all and I hope you know I'm I've, I've done this for so long and it's not for the awards or the validation or anything it's because I love this thing but getting that validation ah it's it's so motivating so all my years every project that I did from Machachari to Dream Child that was nominated for so many awards um but I never got a solo nomination for it I got one last year Kisima uh for best lead actor in a film but basically dream child kina and now salem i've always wanted 
to win a Kalasha or just be be nominated among some of the finest talents in the country. And when I got that news, it was we were on certain risk was telling me, yo, they're announcing the nominees. And it was now the best lead actor, the best then now the best supporting actor, you know. Yeah. And when I got that news, first of all seeing the category and the actors that I'm you know, blessing Lungalo, you know, you know, hey, bah, bah, Lefty, Moses, Moses Kiema, you know, uh, Bilal, like Makbul, Mohammed. So, um, being the youngest in that category and actually getting my first major nomination after nine years plus, close to a decade of pure work. It was, it was validation that this is what I want to do. And it, for me as a kid, this was a dream. And you know, once you grow, we, we, we have that notion of you outgrow your dreams. But me, I don't believe in that. You see that dream you had when you were a boy, when you, you used to say, one day I dream of being in Mpasho and doing this. When you get it, it will give you that same satisfaction and don't let anyone steal that away from you. So me, when I see the Kalasha, it gives me that same satisfaction of the 10-year-old boogie who dreamt of one day being recognized as one of the finest talents in the country at a very young age. So for me, the nomination was, it's not just about the award, but it, it, was, it was validation that this is what I want to do and this is what I need to do and this is, I'm on the right track and it's just getting bigger from here. Yeah. So from here, we're going from here for, we're for the top. Mm. Okay. Man, that's good, that's good, that's good. I'm happy for you, man. Congratulations. Uh, so, finally, uh, you had uh, an interview with uh, Kalundu, and you guys touched on mental health. And uh, so, we just wanted to find out um, how do you feel about it still? Uh, do you think like we're not giving it enough attention? I'm just. What are your thoughts on, on, on mental health? Yeah, mental health is not being given. It's definitely not being given enough attention. We are, we are trying, but we, 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 we are not giving it the attention it deserves in respect to the damage <laughs> it has, especially in our generation. I mean, many people our age are dealing with mental health on a daily and uh, people are resulting to addiction, you know, um toxic relationships toxic behaviors some just to the extent of suicide all because of mental health so basically for me this is a huge part of our generation and it's all because of the traumas that we grew up in so for us as a generation it's for us to you know undo the trauma that was caused i think that's the purpose for this generation is to actually undo all the trauma that was caused and that's why this generation is very wild yeah. wild because we are rebellious because we say no no this is not you know they call us rebellious that's why we are very loud and there are a lot of people a lot of people have a problem with that like we actually do know how to say no you know how to say no and saying no is not wrong sometimes yeah not, but we are very because i think that's the purpose of our generation we are doing a lot of trauma that was inflicted on our parents on our grandparents on our fathers and everything and society as a whole and we have a purpose of making this better for the coming generation and mental health for me is one of the aspects that needs proper attention because it's bro it's it's a pandemic on its own bro i have friends who who are addicted you know, I have friends who who, who commit suicide because of because of that, and I think it's high time we start having these conversations. And the way we will start having these conversations, it's me and you, bro. When we have this talk and we give more prop to these things, when we have even Sisikawa Sani, we have a very, very, very big responsibility of talking about these things. You know, um, from the shows we do, from the music we make, from Whatever we produce out there, mental health is an aspect that has to be talked about because if you don't fix it now, it's only getting worse. And we're only bringing 
another damaged generation that will damage another generation that will cause more damage to the future generation you know so the cycle continues basically so the mind once you control what a person thinks you control the person and you control their generation and the future generations so if we are able to have healthy conversations towards mental health towards young men you know um this toxic masculinity you know this having genuine conversations about feminism and all that stuff and as a generation taking the stand of you know we we, we are taking our mental health very seriously cuz no matter how much you try there's nothing nothing else will function and we need to be there for each other so for me i'm very down with mental health i am planning on doing a couple of things related towards mental health from podcasts um and a lot of collaborations with you know some of my colleagues you know melvin alusa my castmates my nini my nini just to be very vocal about this especially for the boy child because i think we need a proper voice i mean a proper voice you know proper voice and proper representation and yeah just have these conversations more intimately and that's one of the reasons why i love tito he's a, he's and the show salem and oh salem was also nominated for viewers choice award so yeah um mental health is is very heavy for me yeah i so so man thank you so much for availing yourself but before we go uh is there anything you're working on at the moment yeah, yeah we're working on a couple of things with my team um good good stuff like oh my god you can to it yeah, from everything basically um it's a lot of good stuff that will come and some people have noticed some changes uh bigger changes are coming on your way and yeah basically for now we just start up with you know getting this kalasha home so you guys yeah hopefully that happens so but i need your votes i need your vote i need your vote i need your votes and i need your votes guys so um it's i have the link on my bio or on my social instagram real boogie um you can download the star times app uh, click on the kalasha sticker go to the television category and uh, scroll down to best supporting actor in a tv drama vote for real boogie also my castmate foi wamboi was nominated as best supporting actress in a tv drama also our show salem was nominated as viewers choice and that's at the special category man we need your votes so 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 much melvin alusa my dad on the show was also nominated for best lead actor for his performance on country queen so yo it's a whole family man and we need you guys we need you guys heavy and we need those votes cuz we do we do this for you we do this for you and we need you guys so um keep supporting thank you for having me thank you for having this conversation with me um we we are, we are definitely working on a lot of stuff that we will start putting out as soon as this month and yeah with my entire team um Randy Randy Styles Kalunji um Omondi Buju and their entire squad so yeah we will be heavy definitely yeah so yeah but for now guys don't forget um vote for us you can go over to my instagram check out the details i have everything put out there and yeah you can always shoot a question on my dm yeah i saw so miski up again you could give this guys your votes yeah. i mean they truly do deserve it yeah, yeah. once again shukran i right. thank you for making time uh that's it for this installment we'll see you guys later take care